zangu kwa lugha ya ishara ni Felix Otieno. Naam. Moja kwa moja tukianza ni kwamba serikali kwa ushirikiano na mashirika sio ya kiserikali imekariri kuzamia swala la upandaji miti angalau kwa asilimia kumi ifikapo mwakani katika kaunti ya kwale kwenye shule ka, uh, kwenye shule za msingi na za upili kama hatua ya kupambana na athari ya mabadiliko ya hali anga katika ukanda mzima wa pwani Serikali kwa ushirikiano na mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali kaunti ya Kwale wameanzisha mchakato wa kukuza misitu kwa kuanzisha mradi wa kupanda miti katika shule zote za msingi na za upili ili kuafikia asilimia kumi ifikapo mwakani. Mshirikishi wa mradi huo Faith Muinde amesisitiza kuwa iwapo shule zote nchini itashiriki upanzi wa miti mabadiliko katika hali ya hanga huenda ikaafikiwa pamoja na kupunguza ukataji wa miti. Uh, lengo letu katika zile tunaita objectives za our NGO ni kwamba tunataka kila shule all over the country iwe na miti kama kila shule inaweza kuwa na forest kadogo tunaweza kuwa na chance ya kuweza kubadilisha ama saibu ya climate change upande miti kwa wingi wajua miti ni uhai inatupa oxygen na ndio inafanya water catchment areas zinakuwa rejuvenated ama restored zile mito hazikuwa na, na, na maji ukipanda mti hiyo inafanya ina rejuvenate the water catchment areas unajua watoto wanafunzwa haraka sasa ukiwafunza kutoka utotoni kwamba kupanda miti ni kitu inafaa kwa ya kawaida basi hiyo tutakuwa na future mzuri sana hafla hiyo iliyoandaliwa katika shule ya upili ya wasichana ya kwale imewavutia makundi kadhaa ambao ni wakerekechwa kutoka vanga gazi na mikoko nikiripotia runinga ya boss hizo shule ambazo zingine ambazo watie pia watie juhudi pia kwa form such clubs that can conserve can bring some benefit to the, to the environment conservation na pia hizi miti kama hapa shule ukiangalia uh, hii shule ikianza hakukua na miti hapa hii miti imetupatia kivuli ya kutosha hawa watoto weekend tunapata wanasomea huku nje so apart from even uh, uh, mambo ya uh, conserving or kuvuta mvua kutuletea mvua uh, na, na other benefits wakati wa kiangazwa kwa kauka sana kwa sababu hakuna miti lakini kwa shule yetu tunashukuru kwa sababu hiyo project imekuwa nayo imefanya shule yetu imekuwa nzuri na ina, yani kiu nje suraki inatuta vizuri kwa sababu ya miti na sisi tuna hiyo huo mradi tunatuli tuliwacha baada tunaendelea kupanda huwa tunaenda kila mahali kwa shule yetu tunapanda miti karibu kabisa na mwalimu wetu bwana Mtinda ye ndo kiongozi wetu anatu anatuongoza katika hiyo njia ya kupanda miti. Pia anatutunza faida za miti, venye miti ina faida gani na kwa sababu gani watu wanapanda miti. Naam, na moja kwa moja tuelekee katika kaunti ya Kilifi ambapo wasichana tisa kati ya umri wa miaka 14 na 16 kutoka shule moja ya msingi eneo la Magarini kaunti hiyo wameweza kulipotiwa kupachi kwa mimba. Wasichana hao waliokolewa na kundi moja lakini mama wanaopambana na dhulma ya kijinsia hatimaye kurejeshwa shuleni baada ya ushauri na saa. Kwa sababu kesi za defilement huku zimekuwa ni nyingi sana, kesi za insects zimekuwa ni nyingi sana na tumeweza kuangalia na kuhoji baadhi ya watoto na tukaona haswa haswa sana wanadanganyika na hali ya pesa. Utapata mtoto mdogo wa 14 years ameweza kudhulumiwa na kijana wa boda boda, ukiangalia pengine amepewa shilingi hamsini ama shilingi moja na hamsini. Wiki mbili zimepita tumeweza ku watoto wa nane ambao watoto wa nane wote hao wako wajawazito age between 14 paka 16 uh, wote walikuwa wajawazito kutoka kwa shule moja ambayo iliweza kutu, kutufanya ikatupatia motisha kuweza kukaa chini na kuongea na watoto one on one na kuona shida iko wapi na juhudi zetu za kuweza kuongea na watoto na wazazi Wengi wa watoto kwa hoji ni kukosa mahitaji yao kutoka kwa wazazi. Kwa hivyo jamii ama wazazi hawajibiki kulingana na majukumu yao. E, kwa wale ambao wamehusika sahi bado tunaendelea kuwatafuta. Hawajatiwa nguvuni bado lakini bado tunaendelea kuwatafuta. Ya, na tukuwapata watashitakiwa na 
tuone sheria itachukua mkono wake. Cuz mimi niko na mamangu babangu aliaga. Ni atafute mara nyingine anakosa pesa mpaka kununulia pazi. Ni mfanye kuomba omba. Nashukuru aliponiletea hizo pazi. Walinisaidia pamoja wako. Silinisaidia sana. Tulikuwa marafiki. Ndio tuka tukaelewana mpaka tukapata ujauzito. Na tukiendelea ni kwamba Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amesema hatua ya kulinda na kutunza wanyamapori ni kuweka uhusiano mwafaka kati ya shirika la huduma kwa wanyamapori na binadamu ili kuweza kumaliza uwindaji haramu. Akizungumza katika hafla ya kutimisha miaka tano tangu kuzinduliwa kwa mbuga ya kitaifa ya nyama kundadhi akizungumza katika hafla ya kutimisha miaka tano tangu kuzinduliwa kwa mbuga ya kitaifa ya wanyama kaunti ya Nairobi Rais ameshikilia kuwa serikali yake kupitia Wizara ya Utalii na Wanyamapori itafanya kila mbinu ili kukabiliana na uwindaji haramu. But for 75 years the Nairobi National Park has been the shine of the green city in the sun and indeed it is my sincere hope that this national park shall stand here in the same pristine condition for many centuries that are to come. So to conserve and to indeed to improve our natural beauty, I believe that all concerned agencies and individual citizens must always remain on guard and play their rightful role in protecting this inheritance. This calls for proactive management plans that address current threats, but also ones that anticipate future ones. And to this end, the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife should put in place or implement the management plan for Nairobi National Park to ensure that this park serves humanity for posterity. And as Nairobi has grown, this park has remained a place where residents and our international visitors can engage with nature against the backdrop of a bustling metropolis. Kenya today prides itself as having a thriving national park system comprising over 23 terrestrial national parks, four marine national parks, 28 terrestrial national reserves, six marine national reserves, as well as seven national nature sanctuaries. Na tukiachana swala hilo la uwindaji haramu moja kwa moja tu rudi katika kaunti ya Mombasa ambapo kongamano la sita la majaji wakuu wa Afrika ya Mashariki kuhusu haki na usawa utakaokuza uchumi kwa mataifa husika limeweza kufunguliwa rasmi hapo jana na jaji mkuu wa taifa letu Martha Koome katika kaunti ya Mombasa. Kongamano hilo ambalo linatazamiwa kukamilika Ijumaa limeoleta pamoja jaji mkuu Profesa Ibrahim Juma kutoka Tanzania, Alfons Chigamo wa nchini Uganda, Daktari Fastin Ntezilayo kutoka nchi ya Rwanda, Dame Helen kutoka nchi ya Burundi, Chan Rick Madut kutoka Sudan Kusini. Bila shaka hawa ni majaji ambao wanaendeleza ili kongamano la sita na tuweze kuwa kutazama na kuona hotuba yake Martha Kome. Ziri na waziri wa mambo ya jumu ya Afrika Mashariki Mwishimu Aden Mohamed Anamuakilisha rais wa jamuri ya Kenya Ambaye pia ndiye mwenye kiti Ambaraza ya marais katika jumu ya letu Mwishimu wa chief justice Wa jamuri ya Kenya Bi justice mother Kome The chief justice is from the Republic of Burundi Rwanda, South Sudan, na Zanzibar, President of the East African Court of Justice, Deputy Chief Justice of Republic of Kenya, Deputy Chief Justice of Republic of Uganda, Justice of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Justices of the Court of Appeal from the EAC Partner States, 
the judges of the High Court, the President of the East African Law Society, the Chief Registrar, our Ministry for the role they played in putting together this symposium. The theme of this symposium, courts as tools of social transformation and economic development, is an ode to the now widely accepted reality that the law is an important tool for effecting economic and societal change. It follows that our courts, being interpreters and enforcers of the law, also have a significant role to play in economic and social development of our region. Looked at from the perspective of the project of regional integration within East Africa community, it is notable that the preamble of our treaty expresses the objectives that informed the establishment of the community to include, and I quote, realizing a fast and balanced regional development creating an enabling environment in all partner states in order to attract investments and social economic development. <laughs> Mpenzi mtazamaji nitakurulisha katika eneo la Magarini kaunti ya Kilifi ambapo walimu na wanafunzi wa dini ya Kiislamu kutoka madrasa moja eneo hilo wanalalamikia uongozi mbaya katika madrasa yao hali ambayo imepelekea wanafunzi kukosa chakula na mshahara wa walimu kucheleweshwa Mwanahabari wetu kutoka eneo la Kilifi Rema Divo ameweza kutuandalia taarifa hii kwa upeo zaidi Wazazi na viongozi wa dini ya Kiislamu Magharibi kaunti ya Kilifi wanalalamikia kamati moja ya kibinafsi inayoshughulika na usimamizi wa madrasa moja mjini humo kwa kuandaa uchaguzi wa kisiri katika madrasa hiyo jambo ambalo limezua utata. Wao waloshika saa hii. Ni wengi wao ni watu walikuwa wakikaa kusikiza tu leo imeendaje kesho itakuwaaje. Hawajawahi hata siku moja kwenda kotini wala kusaidia hii madrasa. Na ikiwa kamati haimtaki mwanakamati mwingine ambao kwamba uko katika pale kwenye committee ni lazima aleteni barua au aambiwe mimi mpaka saa hii sijui kitu chochote na mimi ndio kamati wa madrasa hii. Hali hii imepelekea kuvurugwa kwa shughuli zote za mwelekeo wa chuoni humo wazazi wakitoa mto kwa serikali kuingilia kati mara moja. Hapa wanalala na njaa na anaisimamia kwa mfuko wake ni Ustaz Arif na Ustaz Muntama. Na jambo la kushangaza la pili mudiri ama walimu wa madrasa hii hawalipwi mshahara kwa wakati wala hawalipi kutokana na vile tumekubaliana. Kwa hivyo kuna matatizo ambayo lazima watu wote wa mji waweze kujulishwa watu wote wa mji waingilie kati na serikali ingilie kati kuhakikisha kwamba wazazi wa ambao wanaletwa wanafunzi wao hapa boarding kwamba mambo yanapelekwa kutokana na sheria ya serikali viongozi hao wamelaumu kamatio kwa kukosa kufuata sheria na bila kujali maslahi ya wanafunzi chuoni humo wakionya kuwa Kuweka kukatokea makabiliano iwapo kamatio haitastisha shughuli zao za kibinafsi mara moja. Sisi tuheshimu sheria, tuheshimu katiba ya madrasa Tunur la kushangaza ni watu ambao hawana hata elimu, watu ambao hata hawakusoma, ambao wako na hisabu za wakfu ya madrasa, wameanza kutoa pesa za wakfu, wanajinunulia magari, wanapanua biashara zao, wanafunzi wanakaa na njaa. Sisi tunasema hilo jambo hatuliridhiki. Kwa hivyo kabla hakujakosika watu hawajaanza kuingia kwenye vurugu la vita, ni bora serikali ingilie kati tuhakikishe kwamba haki imepatikana na wanafunzi wa madrasa wamesomeshwa kutokana na nidhamu ya madrasa hii ya Tunuru al-Islamia. Rehema Bivo, Boss TV. Na, na kwenye habari za biashara ni kwamba wafanyabiashara wa Mombasa wanalamikia alimbaya biashara licha ya kwamba 
ni msimu wa krismasi tuweze kupata habari hii kwa kina haiwezekani manake unajua sasa kila customer kija analia oh nini sina pesa nataka ya mia just imagine samaki imesafirishwa kutoka Kisumu paka hapa mtu anakuja na kuambia nataka ya mia you see <laughs> sasa imefanya sisi tumekuwa na changamoto ya biashara imerudi chini sasa wewe kweli unaona mia inaenda ama mia hamsini inaenda sema kiusafiri kwa hakika kazi iko chini sana si kama misimu mengine ingawaje kumeachiliwa kutembea usiku na kafyu pia tumetembea usiku na tunabeba vile vile kwa pasi lakini kulingana kweli abiria wako chini sana tofauti iko japo la kwanza sababu ya kimbunga cha corona kimechanganya sana especially mambo ya shule. Sasa hii wana wazazi wengi wana concentrate na back to school next year. So msimu wa Christmas na matumaini wengi wengi wengine watashona lakini wengine oda za shule ndo zitakuwa kwa wengi kuliko msimu wa. Na na tukiendelea ni kwamba vijana kwa kauli moja wametakiwa kujilinda dhidi ya kuzua vurugu pamoja na kuwa na mshikamano hususan makani ambapo taifa litakuwa linaelekea katika uchaguzi mkuu. Aidha michezo na miradi mingine ya kuinua vijana kimawazo imeweza kupewa kipao mbele. Program or there is a concept within that which uh, works with young people which is called the youth space. So today like I said it was an ignition so we were just sharing with the different uh, uh, young people uh, on the strategies uh, they want to engage in uh, addressing the issue of counter violent extremism just uh, no and when young people come together and they are sharing like now we say the youth is space in a safe environment in an open um, uh, safe space that is owned and managed by young people they will be able to kuchanuana um, na kuchanuana they will be able to support each other say eh hey, chungana na hiyo wewe nakwambia atakupatia kazi lakini yako fake so for me i would say young people be careful they are out of every 10 people sorry to say nine people want to exploit you only one person is genuine so look for that genuine person too. and this program is an uh, it's an 18 month program so it's supposed to end in the first quarter of or, or march uh, 2023 so we have just started uh, and uh, we have uh, a long way to go we have about another uh, 15 months to go the thing that we are saying is that communities have to own and for me communities to own they must be empowered and how they can be able to change the environment where they are on insecurity issues. Um, through that, they have started uh, sports uh, because, you know, young people are very good in sports and they are talented in sports. So we are using sports as a transforming strategy on matters of uh, peace and security. Na, na tukilekia kwenye maswala ya kisiasa ni kwamba siasa za chama cha UDA ukanda wapani zimeweza kuwavutia wagombea wengi kwa alikuwa seneta wa Mombasa Hassan Sadai kinadi sera zake kwa wakazi wa Changamwe madai ya ukabila yaliweza kuibuka mwanabali wetu Kakaisa alikuwa miongoni ama alikuwa kwenye msafara huo hapo jana na kuweza kuandaa taarifa hii siasa zikizidi kupamba moto kote mgombea kiti cha ugavana katika kaunti ya Mombasa Hassan Omar Sarai azure na bunge la Changamwe kaunti ya Mombasa Katika ziara hiyo Sarai ameandamana na baadhi wa gombea nyadhifa mbalimbali ikiwemo seneta wakilishi wanawake na wakilishi wadi Hassan Omar Sarai ameomba viongozi na wanaowania uongozi sehemu tofauti tofauti kuacha siasa za ukabila na kufanya siasa za kuunganisha wa Kenya huku akisema kwamba wana mpango wa kuleta serikali yenye usawa sisi tunaweza kuhakikisha sasa ukweli wao kiwa kutoka jamii yote kutoka dini yote kutoka rangi yote tutaka sisi ushirikiane na sisi yote yote si chama si chama cha ukabila si chama cha eneo si chama cha kidini ni chama ambacho kinaleta wa Kenya wote pamoja sasa mjibike kumetoka msikumari kutumia miaka ya mapita ikiwa mnataka uongozi bora na sio bora uongozi basi uongozi ni huu wa UDA sisi hatutafuti rais wa Wajaluo hatutafuti rais wa Wakikuyu hatutafuti rais wa Waluya hatutafuti rais wa Wakamba sisi hatutafuti vikapu vya kikabila 
Sisi tutatafuta rais wa Kenya wote na chama cha Kenya wote. Sisi katika Hustler Nation wale wanaotaka ubunge ile hospitali utakayojengea watu wako ndio hospitali utakwenda kutibiwa. Kama huwezi kutoka mtu wangu kwa 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 iko chini ya mbunge hasla fund itakuwa chini ya ward rep kila ward rep atapatiwa takriban milioni 25 kila mwaka kuangalia zile biashara ndogo ndogo za kida mama anawakusanya wa mama mboga watoto wa boda boda na nini na anawapatia hii usaidizi ili kuweza kuenua uchumi hapa chini. Kupande wake mgombea kiti cha seneta katika kaunti ya Mombasa, Mohamed Amir, amewaomba wakazi wa Changamwe kutumia kura zao vizuri ili waweze kuchagua viongozi watakaowasaidia baadaye. Na nyinyi vijana, natumaini umechukua kura. Kumbukeni tumedanganywa muda mrefu sana. Kura yenu ndio silaha yenu. Kura yetu ndio silaha yetu. Kwa hivyo tusipoitumia kisasaa tukae hapa watu wote wakitudanganya danganya hapa alafu watufanye vile hii serikali iliyoko miaka kumi imetufanya namna hiyo tutaadhibika bure na tutarudi hapa hapa miaka twende miaka turudi tukikuja tukipiga makelele tukilalamika hakuna maji hakuna hivi hakuna vile unless tutumie kura yetu kisasaa Putia runinga ya boys kutoka Changamwe kaunti ya Mombasa mimi ni kaka Isa Mmoja kwa mmoja tuelekee katika kaunti ya Kisumu ambapo waziri wa usalama na masuala ya ndani Daktari Fred Matiangi amesema hata surutishwa katika kuchagua mwaniaji katika muunga mkono katika nyadhifa ya kuwania urais. Akizungumza katika kaunti hiyo Matiangi ambaye ameonekana kuwajibu wa ndani wa naibu rais Daktari Udo Mruto ambao wamekuwa kimshtumu kwa kuunga mkono kinara wa ODM. Kazi imefanyika ama haijafanyika? Lavu niambie sasa nizikuje hapa niziseme maneno itinione haya eti wewe mwambie CS Matiangi hawachane asizungumuze maneno hiyo ya Raila na Alshek kwendeni. Lazima tufanye vile mambo iko. Let's be very honest. We stop this hypocrisy and pretense here. Tunajifanya hapa. Eti there are things that we can talk about and there are things we cannot talk about. Sisi ile tukiwa Nyanza hapa we are one na tumekuwa pamoja siku zote. We are one people. Ama namna gani? Kwetu ni hapa juu. Na ndipo tumeongea pia na tuliongea vizuri sana. Tumekubaliana sisi wote. Na mzee wetu Prime Minister Raila Odinga ndiye anatuongoza. Na tumekubaliana safari hii. Sisi watu wa Nyanza tutasimama pa pamoja kama mtu mmoja. Na tutasimama sisi wote pamoja. Sasa nikisema hivyo nimefanya makosa. Na mimi sija kuuliza wewe ruhusa unipea ruhusa mimi nisimame pamoja na na, na Prime Minister Raila Odinga sija kuuliza pa ruhusa unipea ruhusa nisimame na Mheshimiwa Rais. Mheshimiwa Rais is my boss. Nie ni amenipea kazi nifanye akiamuru vile tunaenda. It is logical mimi nikiwa waziri wake wa usalama. Mimi napiga laini mahali Rais amepiga laini ama namna